Hi everybody, my name is TJ Wolf and I do Linux and hardware and today we're going to be talking about which KDE to choose. Now my three choices are Linux Mint, <coughs> KDE, KUbuntu, and KDE Neon. Now I know there's other RPMs, KDE, Archbase KDEs that are bleeding edge like Ubuntu, but these are my top three choices. So <clears throat> let's um have a look at um KDE Linux Mint KDE, so let me get rid of those and now here's um KDE um what we have in Linux Mint KDE so Now, we have uh, pretty much uh, Linux Mint and KDE Neon and all the other Plasma KDEs have the same software. Um, the only difference is with um, <clears throat> Linux Mint is you have this driver manager right here. And uh, this Linux Mint is the one I'm on right now. And you can see I already got my NVIDIA driver. So this is pretty much the driver manager right here in Linux Mint. And I'll just show you the about uh, system. It's running... The 585 Plasma version and not the newest 5941. So, yes, but it's okay. But anyway, so that's about that. And has MROC, like all your other KDEs and stuff. I installed OBS, which I'm using now to record, so, um, you got all the little things, this is from Screenlit, so I installed that just to mess around with stuff, and this is the title manager, and in the 591, it looks a lot different, um, it's a lot better, I think, in my opinion but in this older version that's all you get that's all you get with it so but the other things i wanted to point out um info center that's all with uh kde but uh let's go down the list because most of this stuff you get already so just want to look at the software manager. And it's on the other screen, so let's um. Now this is the now this does have Synaptic package manager with it, but this is the software manager from uh, Linux Mint, so. This is what you get. So let's say we wanted to install SM Player. And we'll get a SM Player right here. So, and 5.11. So, this is your software map. Of course, you could do it with Synaptic Package Manager also. 
but this is what uh, Linux Mint has. So yeah, so those are the two things that are different with compared to this and KDE Neon, and I will get to that in a second. Now I'm trying to think when all. We're all in Linux Mint. Now the other thing that's different. <laughs> excuse me. In Linux Mint is. Just their regular update manager. That's all. Um, everything else in KDE is the same. So. Um, except for the newer kernels. And stuff like that. From uh, KDE Neon or Kubuntu whatever they are but <clears throat> I'm leaning my head towards KDE Neon again so I might be back on KDE Neon so we will see but um yeah so let's just take now Kibatu I tried to um Get that one up and running in virtual box and no it just wouldn't work and I'm not sure what was going on there. I had tons of crashes with KU Bun2 um the installing trying to install it crashed. Um it was trying to install virtual box stuff for the graphics driver and the DKMS for virtual box and after I did all that it crashed um it wouldn't even restart and yeah so I guess it tells me something so probably not a good thing OS to use so I don't know maybe it's just virtual box and but uh anyway let's uh go take a look at Add on Katie Neon real quick. So I got it up in Virtual Box right now. So let's uh, start it up. Hopefully, it doesn't make the same mistake it did last. Okay, here we go. It didn't do the graphical glitch and so um, here is KDE Neon. <clears throat> so here's KDE Neon and like I said, you got, uh, let's see, it's replica to mine, which, uh, um, you got your, uh, I really like this instant messaging. It's pretty cool if you're on the go and you just boot up your computer and you want to talk to somebody on Hangouts. Um, it's pretty cool. Just, uh, you can use this. Um, I really like in that. Um... Yeah, so this is what the tile manager looks. I set everything in 5.9. I'm really liking this. Um, I talked with the developer and told him I really liked all this stuff. And he said it was only for 5.9. So I'm really liking that. And I'm really liking that, so
yeah so here we go so what I'm gonna so pretty much the only see the only difference is pretty much the same software that I can see let's go back to this so let's see yeah pretty much the same I think some of this is from screenlets. Let's see if that has shot wall. So let's see shot wall shot. No, oh, it doesn't have shot wall and stuff. So okay, seems like that one isn't it in Linux Mint. So there might be a few software that's not installed in Linux Mint, but I'm sure you can get it. So the only difference with K not Neon is you get the uh, discovery. So um. Not sure what the heck that was it doing. Okay, remove icon. Not sure why I made an icon, but okay. So <laughs> discovery is what you update KDE Neon with. That's the only difference is from the Linux Mint updater got the Linux Mint and uh, <clears throat> that's the only two difference so with um that and everything pretty much is the same you got Synaptic Manager just like Linux Mint and yeah, so that's about it. Sorry, guys, I couldn't show Kubuntu, but it just wasn't working out. So, <clears throat> yeah, so that is the end of this video right here. So... Thank you guys for watching and which kitty to choose you guys can decide. Thank you guys very much and please rate, comment, and subscribe if you're not subscribed and PM me if you got any questions. Bye now.